Hello, I'm making this video on behalf of my son, Eric Schuler, who has been kidnapped by Jesuit Rule 13, who is a very powerful Jesuit woman. He's out on a date with her right now, and he doesn't realize that he's out with Rule 13. This woman actually damaged Judge Terrance Jenkins' testicles. She has the power where she can give a man an erection so firm that it can kill him, that can actually cause the sexual organ to explode and to kill the guy. And right now we, we're trying to get, we cannot break through the Jesuit shield to warn Eric that he's out on a date, my son, that he's out on a date with a very wicked and powerful high-ranking Jesuit woman who could kill him. Her goal is to take Eric's virginity from him and then to use his semen to create, um, to find a way to destroy a, of somebody with the Catherine the Great and King David genetic profile, which is my genetic profile. We have tried to get men to go in there to, um, to go in and talk to Eric but the Jesuits have some sort of taser technology on this shield around Eric so that when our men try to get in there to talk to Eric, they are ricocheted, they are bounced back into Sarah Avery, into the slaughterhouse with Sarah Avery, and she eats the guy um, from both ends. Um, uh, so that it seems like the only way that we can get in there and is that we've got a, and they have, they're using mind reading technology so that if anybody tries to go in there and their intent is not to take Eric's virginity from him, he's a virgin guy, he's never had sex with any woman. My son is a born again Christian. It seems like the only way we can get in there is we've got to find a girl who is willing to take Eric's virginity from him. So I'm asking Christian girls out there who might be willing to be my son's wife to volunteer for this job because whoever takes his virginity from him according to the Bible she will be his wife. It's the only way we can get in there to rescue him from Rule 13. They they won't let anybody else in. Um, my son uh, is a born-again Christian. The kind of a girl that he likes would be a girl with an artistic creative temperament, a deeply intelligent girl because my son's highly intelligent. Probably a girl who would enjoy reading the Psalms and the Bible, because I have the I'm, I have half the King David genetic profile. Somebody who appreciates, who has a real love for great music, great art. My son's really into video games, and he's very artistic and creative. He enjoys creative writing. He's done theater and drama. So any girl who who really loves the Lord, but who's not a Pharisee in the way she practices her faith and you know who's not regimental but is a free-spirited Christian young lady um, full of passion and, um, and some, probably a girl who loves to read the Psalms of David and who can really get into them because my son has got a lot of my King David genes so if you've got like the soul of King David in your heart if you're a Christian girl out there and you have a soul have the soul of King David Contact Judge Terrance Jenkins, that's Judge Terry Jenkins at yahoo.com, and let us know that you'd be willing. This would need to be a courageous girl, and we will try to protect you so you can't become pregnant. Unfortunately, it looks like this is the only way that we. So I'm looking for a girl who's willing to be my son's wife. Um, some, if you are a, um, a clean and pure-hearted girl, that's, that would be good. But he's, he needs somebody with an artistic soul and who would um, encourage the art artist in my son. My son's a, a very strong artist. He loves theater. He loves drama. And we just need a girl who would be willing to take my... The Jesuits have got this thing programmed that the only way that we can break into the shield to rescue my son is it's got to, they're using mind reading technology it's got to be somebody who's willing to go to bed with him and if you're not willing to go to bed with him they want they'll kill they shoot the women who whose motives to, to go in there are for any other reason 
Uh, rule 13 wants to go to bed with my son and she wants to steal his his uh, sperm to create um, to find a way I guess to destroy me to destroy the King David and Catherine um, the great genetic profile so if there's any girl out there who um, who would be willing to be my son's wife because basically if you go to bed with him that would be it um, you would have to be a born-again Christian somebody who loves the Lord but who's not regimental in your in your beliefs because my son's a free-spirited artist uh, passionate and highly intelligent spiritual and probably a non-judgmental type of a person too somebody who's very loving and accepting this would be an ideal partner for him um, because he's my son's a real free-spirited artist so we we're in a very difficult situation. We can't rescue my son any other way, it appears, unless we get a, a virgin, a, probably a clean girl, a virgin girl, but if not, a girl who's got a pure heart and who can love deeply and, and with commitment. Because my son has actually got very deep feelings and he's a highly intelligent young man. He um, He's studying computer animation. He's about to get his associate degree. He's very interested in Japanese things. So if you're if you love Japanese things or if you're a Japanese Christian, that would be he would probably really go for you then. He likes everything Japanese, but we need a um, we need a Christian young lady who's got maybe a Japanese, yeah, a woman's kind of like a who's got a you know the Japanese attitude towards sexuality is um, they believe that sex is not sinful as long as it's done with beauty and honor and truth in the way you make love to the person so we need a girl like that who has got that attitude towards sexuality and as long as sex is not used to hurt a person not used to manipulate or be criminal um, somebody with that kind of an attitude would, would be an ideal sexual partner for my son Unfortunately, the Jesuits won't let anybody else in there to rescue my son from Rule 13, who is a very evil, powerful Jesuit woman. But any Christ, he's a, my son is a sweet young man. He takes after me in many ways. I'm an artist. I'm a writer, and my son's also a writer. And he's done acting. He's um a, he's a deep and thoughtful young man. He's a young gentleman. He's polite and well mannered. So probably a somebody a, a lady who's got some class who's not crude and vulgar but who's also um, highly intelligent and spiritual would be a, a good mate for him and we we need you to go to bed with him if you have any other motive we won't be able to rescue my son contact judge to ranch Jenkins that's judge Terry Jenkins J-U-D-G-E-T-E-R-R-Y J-E-N-K-I-N-S at yahoo.com and um let him know if uh, if you would be willing to work with us. We've got it. Vladimir Putin, Brent Spiner, and my men, Hugh Jackman, Matthew McConaughey. We will do our best to protect you. We just need somebody to go in there and rescue my son from this evil Jesuit. He's on a date with her, and he doesn't realize that he's on a date with a Jesuit killer. She has killed men already. She gives them... She she uh, she manipulates their sexual organs and gorges their sexual organs with blood so that it explodes and kills the guy, and she's capable of doing this. And she almost killed Judge Terence Jenkins. Uh, and go and go to the Lord in prayer and ask the Lord if maybe you are the young lady, the heroic young lady, that we need to save my son from this evil Jesuit Rule Thirteen. And I told Judge Terrence Jenkins when he called me that this woman will probably end up being his wife. Uh, thank you.